Outlaws, we appreciate you. You're missing a lot of the stuff that we're only putting on Patreon. So join the rest of the Outlaw Nation today on Patreon, link below. It's only a Starbucks cup of coffee a month to have the best insider news and to help the project. Bad. Bad. All right, check it out, guys. Battle Arms Development. Little 10 and a half inch bad. AR pistol. Oh my goodness, is this girl cute. I'm telling you guys, if you were at a party and she was there, you'd all be chasing her. If this was high school, high school prom, you'd be going after this girl. All right, this bad little 10 and a half inch pistol. Ooh. All right, let's start at butt to tip. I mean, come on, man. We gotta, we gotta play with the, with the, the, the Mac Daddy, all right? All right, so this one's a pistol. It has the uh, SB pistol brace on it. Uh, if you look, if you're catching this early enough and you know it looks like August of 2022, I can't believe it's 2022. August of 2022, we probably won't have these anymore, but the good thing is the way Form 4s are going, you'll just be able to get a regular old stock on here and uh, be more happy. Just get it registered because that's the way of the future. All right, so one of the things I like is I haven't changed anything from this from factory. This is literally a brand new factory gun. You know ammo's tight. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've put 600 and change, 630-ish rounds through this. I'm kind of testing it with the, with the optics. So one of the things that I really like about this is the high grip purchase that it, that it gives you. Um, I like to grip my ARs high, and so this gives you this really high grip purchase so that you can control your trigger just a little better. Remember, those of you guys that you want to pull a trigger like this, it's really like this. And so this gives you the ability to do this very well, whether you snatch the trigger or whether you press the trigger from the front and slap it, either way, however you want to do it, it gives you the ability to kind of isolate that trigger finger whenever it's high like that. That's what I like about it. So I like their grip. It actually, you know, the times that I've handled it, messed with it, it doesn't hurt. You can see how dry I am from the winter. In the winter here in the desert, it's dry and it doesn't hurt my hands. I like that. Um, the safety selector switch, it's a bad safety selector and it's the 45 degree. Um, I like that 45 degree. It is a little sharp, um, so it does start hurting your thumb, but I, I do like the 45 degree and one of the reasons is because it gives you the ability to keep this high purchase and it not get into your hand on this side. Um, so I actually like this a lot. So you, if you're looking, it's just, you know, up, I'm back, I'm up. I've always, I've had bad safety levers or selector switches on my rifles for a very long time. I think since they very first came out. Um, I like them. They're not necessarily faster than other ones, but I do have them on pretty much most of my rifles or something similar now that, you know, basically somebody knocked off bad on that. Anyway, um, so I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I do like the gray color, but who cares? You know, it's just a color. Uh, same battle arms development, um, bolt carrier group. I didn't have any issues with it. Their four rail isn't bad. It does get hot. So I shot this, it got, it got really hot because it's really opened up. I would say if this was a fighting rifle for you, uh, in, the, in the way that gunfights happen in America, um, you're not going to dump 10 magazines like you would in a training class. So it's probably not a bad thing. But if you were shooting it or really getting with it, you probably need a glove. Um, I don't like how my hands kind of poke through here just a little bit. It doesn't poke through enough that I get burned. And I'm, I'm not trash talking um, Battle Arms development because they got a lot of great product. Even this is not a bad product. It's just something I don't like about the product, all right? And they didn't give me this gun. I bought this gun. Anyway, so I added this Magpul handpiece on here. Look, I realize you're gonna tell me that it's supposed to be against the law. It's not overall. Um, this is a firearm. So I guess I take back the pistol thing which allows me to have this on here because it's long enough when it's fully extended. Um, I got a tape measure out and did it because I'm not gonna do something that I'm not allowed to do. So for all you naysayers, you can put it in the bottom, but check the loss, all right? I've got the CGS, their new Helios QD Titanium. And like I said, when I tell you this is the hottest girl at the dance, whew, I mean, it is smooth, it is light, it is fast, and it is quiet. I can shoot this without earmuffs and I can shoot it a lot without earmuffs. 
and it's just a nice cam. Guy, I'm gonna tell you, CGS has silencers figured out. If you don't know who they are, look, at, look below, check them out. Um, because when you need what I consider top tier, one of the very best, this is where I go. Oh, guys, I forgot about the trigger. Listen, um, I don't like the trigger. It's not bad. I don't like it. I would replace the trigger. Um, I would get a Geisley SSA trigger for this, or I say I would, I will get a nice Geisley SSA trigger for this. Um, this trigger's not bad. I don't know what trigger it comes with. Um, it's a single stage. I prefer a double stage for a fighting rifle, and the reason why is, it, you know, it, it, they will get dirtier better than a single stage will. Um, but anyway, it's not bad. It's just something that I would replace at some point. On to the optic. Um, this is the SIG Tango, the new military optic. It has the military reticle. I can't remember what the numbers are. What is this thing? MFR 6ZWB1. I'm actually really impressed with this SIG. I've tested out now, I think seven different LPVOs, which you're gonna see as we go through these videos. Um, this SIG Tango, ooh, it's nice. I originally was a little scared to say that I would buy this optic. Um, I got it for a review. Uh, you know, what I say, I got 630 rounds on it. My far holdovers, my close holdovers, this is a great optic. I really, really like it. I think you will really, really like it. The scope mount that's on it is an old scope mount. You can't get the scope mount anymore. So I think Trijicon will be coming out with them soon. It's the D-Lock mount. Uh, it, is, it is a great mount. It's one of my favorite mounts. It's one of the only return to zero mounts. Um, I think April of 2022, uh, Trijicon will come out with them. But, so if you need the Battle Arms Development bad 10 and a half inch rifle, um, this is one bad little girl. I'm telling you that this is the prettiest girl at prom. And I think you will like it quite a bit. And if you need a good optic for it, an LPVO, um, if you go back and listen to our podcast on LPVOs versus red dots and why there's a massive change in the industry for them, you're gonna understand and you're gonna want an LPVO on all your guns. And I, I, could, I could recommend SIG so far. Battle Arms Development, a uh, little 10 and a half inch pistol, um, firearm overall. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, check with these new ATF rules that are coming out because you might just need to register and grab you a full butt stock instead of trying to grab a pistol. Uh, we don't have all the details on those, but check them out and uh, and stay tuned because some interesting things are gonna happen. These Form 4s, where you'll be able to get a silencer in 90 days, that's looking pretty sexy. All right, Outlaws, we got it. We got all the merch you were looking for, the hats, the shirts, we got them for you. You asked for them, we got them, check it out. AmericanOutlawNation.com, linked below. Go down, pick out your merch, they'll ship it to you. They're super fast shipping and they're just on top of it. You'll like it, you'll love it, and you need some more of it. Every month or so, we're gonna come out with a new shirt and so that we can have just, you know, the Outlaw Nation wearing our shirts. All right, guys, like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. Outlaw out.